So I just got this miniature go-kart, and this is actually a go-ped go-kart. So if you know what a go-ped scooter is, then this is basically just a larger version of that with four wheels. The person I bought it from had actually tried to turn it electric with this one kilowatt motor. But when I plugged in my ESC, it stalled and smoke started coming out of the motor. So let's turn this thing gas. Let's get started. So here's the motor. As you can see, it does not turn at all and it is completely stalled. So it's basically trash. It's got the chain still on it and a sprocket. So I thought, why not just mount a gas engine to it? And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So here I have my scrapped pocket bike that actually blew out a tire. I paid only a hundred bucks for this thing, so it wasn't even worth fixing for me. However, the engine here still works flawlessly, and this thing is fast. So I've already gone and removed the engine from the frame. All we gotta do now is slap it right on the go-kart. And it looks super easy. You just take the engine, you put it on, put the chain on, and it works, right? I wish it was that easy, but this engine actually turns the wrong way. I'm sure there's an easy way to get it to go in reverse, but I'm not sure how to do that. So instead of mounting it the easy way, we're gonna be mounting it like this. And that gives me a perfect excuse to waste several kilowatt hours of electricity with my welder. But first, let's make sure this thing still runs. Seems like it works. And yes, I just ran that on the output of this blowtorch. And here I was wondering why it was taking so long. The teeth are literally on the opposite side of where they should be. That right there is the mark of a true genius. So here are the two pieces of metal I'm going to be using to mount the motor. These only took me about two hours to cut out. Put the welding helmet on, see if this works. So for now I'm only going to be doing one small weld at the top because I need to make sure I actually got the positioning right. Because I did not measure anything. That actually doesn't look too bad. I thought for sure the engine would be touching the wheel but we've got a solid half an inch of clearance. All right, I'm just gonna weld this thing any place I can. So like the screw here, I'm gonna weld that to that. The muffler over here, I'm gonna weld that to that. And we're just gonna basically try to hold this thing in place any way we can. But first, I'm gonna seal up these and make sure this is really strong. I think I just went through the muffler. A muffler with a few holes should be fine, right? All right, that looks awesome. I totally mounted that super sketchy, but it's just good enough where I think this might work. So we've got our engine mounted here. It's not very solid, but it will work. But we've got our twist throttle here, and the lead is not long enough to reach the place where I want it to be. And it's a twist throttle, so I don't really want to have to be twisting it while trying to drive a go-kart. That's way too hard. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the cable and put an actual pedal or I might just put a pedal on this so it twists it when I press it. Plot twist, I did none of that. So instead of using the twist throttle, I'm going to be using this little pull throttle and that is just going to be mounted right here where I drilled the two holes. And to connect the throttle to the carburetor, we're just going to take this small piece of wire that is inside the tube and we're going to put it right here so it'll be able to pull up this whole little rig. And there we go, just like that. I'm going to pull it and it'll be able to let more gas in and it'll rev the engine. Let's put the throttle on. And there we go. Alright, it's drivable now, so let's go test this thing out. This thing's actually a lot more powerful than I thought. Because there's no axle connecting the back two wheels, it is only one wheel drive, and this thing does some crazy burnouts. You can already see this tire is wearing down. In addition to that, when I gunned it, this thing got to 30 miles an hour in about three seconds. This video took me a whole week to make, so I hope you guys like it. If you can, please support me on Patreon because YouTube is paying me in peanuts. I'll see you guys next time.